10 mega projects reshaping Zimbabwe's economy. Zimbabwe is working to build new infrastructure and renovate existing infrastructure as part of national and provincial flagship projects to support commercial activity and the national economy. The economy of Zimbabwe is diverse, providing many potential for backward and forward links between many industries, including tourism, mining, agriculture, education, transportation, and infrastructure development, as well as manufacturing, information, communication, and technology. We will examine the top 10 massive projects in Zimbabwe in this video. Please share your thoughts about these projects in the comment section below. Please like this video and subscribe to our channel as we begin. 10. Zim Cyber City In July 2022, Emerson Mangagwa, the president of Zimbabwe, officially began building of a new metropolis. A high-tech mixed-use development called Zim Cyber City can be found in Zimbabwe's Mount Hampton. Zim Cyber City, which occupies 2.5 million square meters of land, features one of Africa's tallest structures, state-of-the-art office space, upscale housing, and shopping malls. Emerson Mangagwa, president of Zimbabwe, referred to the construction as a milestone project that will help bolster ties between the United Arab Emirates and Zimbabwe during the groundbreaking event. Mork International, an industrial company located in the United Arab Emirates, is developing the project and investing about $500 million. 9. Kariba South Power Station Expansion Project the largest source of residential electricity supply in Zimbabwe is the Kariba South Power Station, which is owned and run by the government-owned Zimbabwe Power Company, ZPC. The power station started running in 1959 and used six generator units to produce around megawatts. ZPC started a $533 million project in 2014 to add two more units with a generation capacity of 150 megawatts each to the current facility. The power plant's capacity was increased from 750 megawatts to 1050 megawatts as a result of the project, which was built in three years from 2014 to 2017 by China's Sing Hydro Corporation and co-financed by the Zimbabwean government and China Export and Import Bank. This helps the nation's supply of electricity. 8. Zimbabwe Roads Development Projects In an effort to update its road infrastructure, the Zimbabwean government is working on a number of significant road projects. Additional northern toll gates along the Herrera Bulawayo Highway, as well as the dualization of the Herrera Matari and Plumtree Matari highways, are also under construction. A total of 16,284 kilometers of roads will be re graveled, 556 kilometers of drainage structures will be repaired or built, 22 bridges and other supporting infrastructure will be upgraded by the government. 7. Robert Mugabe International Airport Expansion Project The development of Robert Mugabe International Airport is anticipated to greatly contribute to an increase in visitor numbers to Zimbabwe. The development of a new airport terminal, aprons for new bridges, a secondary radar system, an airstrip, ground illumination, and a communication system are all part of a $153 million project being carried out in Zimbabwe. China Export-Import Bank is providing funding for the project, which is being built by China Jansu International. The capacity of the airport to carry passengers is anticipated to expand from 2.5 million to 6 million annually, more than doubling. 6. Herrera Metro Rail Urban commuters in Herrera are compelled to utilize old crammed cars because there are no other options, which causes traffic congestion, carbon emissions, and traffic accidents. The Zimbabwean government intends to implement a new transportation system that will offer a dependable, safe, and inexpensive public transportation option in order to address these issues. The Herrera Metro was built in three phases. Phase 1 includes a 31 kilometers railway line, 
connecting the main southern high-density residential areas. Phase 2 includes building the line to Chichumakita and Mafuhu, and Phase 3 includes extending the line to the Robert Mugabe International Airport and the new parliament in Mount Hampton. Along with 19 contemporary railway stops, the Herrera Metro will also have an elevated line that would assist it avoid obstructing city traffic. 5. Mount Hamden Smart City Zimbabwe wants the newly constructed metropolis to open as soon as possible because it has been luring numerous investors. The newly constructed city places a strong emphasis on information and communications technology in order to increase operational efficiency and raise the standard of public welfare and government services. The master plan for the city was created by professionals from Herrera University, and some of the important buildings included in the design of the new city include office parks, commercial entities, a high-tech park, information communication technology center park, institutional facilities, agro-processing buildings, resort, hotels, conference center, golf course, apartments, cluster houses, and garden flats, as well as low-density residential areas, civic center, and game sanctuaries. The new parliament building, which is central to the city, was built and totally funded by China as a present to the country of Zimbabwe. 4. Maybell Land Zambezi Water Project On order to address the recent water problem that the nation has experienced owing to drought, the Zimbabwean government is investing $600 million in the Maybell Land and Zambezi Water Project. The initiative entails a sizable water project in Zimbabwe's Maybell region that intends to alleviate the ongoing water shortage plaguing Bulawayo, the country's second-largest city, by supplying water from the magnificent Zambezi River. The dam is a 634 million cubic meter roller compacted concrete gravity structure that is 70 meters high and 305 meters wide. 3. Bait Bridge Border Post The 930 kilometer upgrading project for the Bait Bridge Border Post includes a border post at Bait Bridge. The quality of the road, which has passed its prime, is anticipated to improve with the completion of the highway. There are two phases to the project. In phase one, the roadway will be widened from its current width of 7 meters to 12.5 meters in accordance with Southern African transport and communications requirements. Phase two of the project will see the construction of a fire station, residential buildings, a sewage, dam, and a new water reservoir in addition to the dualization of the entire road, renovation of the entire border post ICT infrastructure, and construction of a number of social projects. The construction is being done by a collaboration that includes a number of South Africans, Zimbabweans, and business people from other countries, professionals, and financial organizations. With the highway, Zimbabwe will be able to make use of its strategic location to serve as a regional logistics hub and reduce the number of accidents on the present, overcrowded, and thin route. 2. Zimbabwe Urban Renewal Projects The Zimbabwean government is working to modernize the city's housing supply by putting in place new infrastructure and implementing sustainable services. The project entails the creation of a new city in Mount Hampton and a satellite town on the outskirts of Victoria Falls, as well as the development of housing infrastructure in the provinces of Bulawayo, Harare, Masvingo, and Matari. By 2030, the ambitious 30 billion project will transform some of Zimbabwe's oldest residential districts into world-class communities. 1. Wanj Power Station A 600 megawatt installed capacity addition is being made to Zimbabwe's largest coal-fired power plant. A power plant in Zimbabwe called Wanga is situated near the border with Zambia. A special purpose vehicle made up of hydropower engineering and construction firm Sino Hydro and Zimbabwe Power Companies AC, a subsidiary of Zimbabwe Energy Supply Authority's IONS, Chinese state, is working on the 1.5 billion expansion project. Two enormous boiler turbine generator sets with a combined capacity of 600 megawatts are installed as part of the power project, along with the necessary cooling tower additions. When the extension is finished, 
the Huenge power plant will have a total of 1,520 megawatts in capacity thanks to two 300 megawatt units from the new third phase, 120 megawatt units from the first phase, and 220 megawatt units from the second phase. The nation's economic growth and electricity production depend on the $1.5 billion infrastructure investment in the Huangge power facility. It represents Zimbabwe's efforts to come up with long-term solutions to its power problems, which are inhibiting the development of its industrial sector and impeding economic growth. These are just a few of the projects that are changing the face of this nation and advancing it economically. Tell us in the comment section what you think of these projects and how they will benefit this nation and Africa. Also remember to like this video, share it, and subscribe to Africa Reloaded for more intriguing contents.